Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we take a look at one of my Christmas presents. This is the Vinersi DSO TC2 two in one oscilloscope and transistor tester. I think this looks like a pretty cool little thing. Oh, man. No fancy knife today, just my EDC. So it looks like it was made January 30th of last year, almost a year ago to the day. And it looks like it was made at 10.45 p.m. It weighs 280 grams. So what do we get? What do we get? Oh, there's some nice rubber bands. Okay. That is an interesting little push-on connector. I've seen those used for, like, Wi-Fi antennas, but I've never seen them used in this way before. Then we got some of these little uh, mini grabbers with uh, DuPont connectors on the end. Those are always nice. Manual. Here's a QR code for you. Or not, yeah, QR code. If you're interested. Okay. Ah, there we go. I hope there's some English in here somewhere. All right, here's what I was looking for. Specifications of the oscilloscope. Two and a half mega samples a second. Analog bandwidth up to 200 kilohertz. Okay, so that's pretty low, but it'll be all right. Input resistance, one mega ohm coupling AC-DC. Test voltage range, uh, one to one probe, 80 volts peak to peak, 10 to one, 800. Do not put 800 volts through this, okay? Stick to DC benchtop stuff. Vertical sensitivity, 10 millivolts per division. That's pretty poor, actually. Yeah, that's pretty poor. Vertical displacement, adjustable. Horizontal time bolt base, 10 microseconds per division to 500 seconds per division. Okay, trigger mode, automatic, regular, and single. Doesn't say if he has rising or falling. Oh, there we go, trigger type. Rising and falling, trigger level adjustable, waveform freeze, yes, automatic measurement, maximum, minimum, average, RMS, peak to peak, frequency, period, duty, so that's not bad. Oh, and it even has PWM output, frequency 0 to 80 kilohertz, duty cycle 0 to 100%, 5 volt. Now that's not bad. So yeah, what, like I said, some of those uh, specifications are pretty low if you come from a bench top oscilloscope, you know, lab grade oscilloscope world. But man, if you're just getting started in the electronics uh, hobby, you're not going to care. All right. So it doesn't feel bad. That's an interesting little pattern in there. Can you guys see that? It reminds you of like a swimming pool. They definitely put some thought into this. So we have a uh, ZIF socket, that ZIF, zero insertion force here. You can sit your uh, components in there to be tested, and then it locks down, powered up. Okay, so we have a choice. We can come up with either uh, the tester or the oscilloscope. DSO, okay. Okay, let's have some fun. Well, no compensation, 
but that's all right. Let me get the um, signal generator ready. All right, let's zoom in here so you get a better view. Okay, I am feeding it a 10 kilohertz 5 volt peak to peak sine wave. What are we seeing? Yeah, 10 kilohertz, 4.98. It's a little wiggly wobbly, but that's all right. Let's uh, change our frequency here. Let's go to 100 kilohertz. Let's see if we can figure out something here. Oh, okay. All I do is hit auto. Very nice. All right, let's max it out. We'll take it up to 200 kilohertz. Then I'll hit the auto button again. Yeah, see, now it's having a little bit of trouble locking on. And that's fine. That's it. That is expected. Okay, I'm, I'm pressing this OK button. It's moving things around. So we have AC, AC, auto, duty, PWM, X1. Yeah, this just moves you around here through all sorts of different things. All right, let's uh, let's turn our frequency down. There's a hundred hertz. Oh, it's having trouble with 100 hertz. Okay, there we go. We locked on to it. Why does it say 0.100? That's interesting. Oh, 0.100 kilohertz. Okay. Let's take it up to 1 kilohertz. Very good. All right, let's uh, let's change our shapes here. Square wave, triangle wave. Yeah, no issues with this whatsoever. All right, let's check out the uh, component testing side of it. All right. Let's uh, get started, and we'll start out with a uh, MOSFET. This is an IRF and, uh, 40, IRFC 44N and channel enhancement mode FET. And channel enhancement mode MOSFET. Yep. Had no trouble. I didn't think it would. All right. Uh, how about a capacitor? 1,000 microfarad, 16 volt. Make sure we discharge it. Might take a second to charge. That's a big cap. Yeah, no problem. Here's a smaller cap. This is a... Uh, 220 microfarad, 16 volt. Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect any trouble. Here's an LED. We should see a couple of flashes as it puts different signals through it. Yep. How easy is that? Forward voltage 2.74 volts with a capacitance of 5, five picofarad. Alright, I brought uh, a couple of different BJTs out. This is a, uh, should be an N channel. Uh, 
22-22. Yeah, no trouble at all. This will be a P channel. Damn it, spread your little legs apart. Come on, man. Kaboom, kaboom. PNP. Uh, here is a shot key diode. So this ought to give us uh, like, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I guess it's not a shocky diode. Here, and I thought it was. It's a regular diode. 600, half a lot. I think this is a. I can never read these damn blue colors. Six. It's either 680 or 6800. Six eighty. And a one meg. Yeah. She works. I didn't expect it not to. What else do we have in the menu? Okay. Startup logo on off language English auto off after minute or none volume backlight. I'll get over here. Nope, that just changes that. Well, that's moving around through here. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to the next section where it says function explain about. Oh, there we go. Setting con oh, it has a continuity test. Voltage, I didn't realize it had all this. It'll take the test of DHT11, Zener diodes, uh, DS18 temperature sensor. Oh, how cool. Function. Oh, this is ex explanation, measuring voltage range. Heck yeah. Has more to it than I thought. All right, so I got to set up here for some of the extra functions. First one being the continuity test. You can see it's showing uh, open loop, infinite ohms. So if we take our little clippers here and put them together, there you go. You'll have to let me know if it's making any noise, because I should, I certainly can't hear it. All right, voltage test. 0 to 16 volts, and I've got out my uh, AD584 calibration doohickey thing here, and I'm going to have to figure out a way to hook them together. Hang on. All right, so for the uh, voltage, you have to plug in up here where it says in. Now, I've got this thing set right now for uh, 2.5 volts, so we should be seeing somewhere along the lines of two and a half volts 2.4 all right let's take it up to five volts 4.9 i'm not sure you can see that let me get in closer there you go next should be uh seven and a half and ten awesome <laughs> i love it pwm output senior diode all these other tests so, I guess the biggest thing about this is, this is an entire electronics lab in the palm of your hand for 60 bucks. I don't think I can give this enough thumbs up. This is fantastic. I love it. So, the FinRC DSO TC2, there's also a TC3 for a few more bucks. 
I mean, if you need some uh, additional features, check that out. But I will put a link to this down below. I know I didn't cover everything. There's, there's so many things these are capable of. Very nice. So you get your, your device, and there are three colored leads. You get your input thing here with the uh, alligator clips, your manual, and a charging cable for around 60 bucks. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.